Today's video is a Z Gallery dupe and it is the Z Gallery Jewel de Verve painting. Now this is a painting that I actually uh, picked up from uh, Facebook Market and I am going to convert it over to the Jewel de Verve painting. And this painting is actually 56 inches long. Now what I'm using for this is I'm using the Art Time acrylic paint my paintbrush and my foam brush and this paint was actually purchased from walmart and i'm just squeezing it on and i'm going to squeeze a generous amount on and i'm going to just completely do this until i cover the whole entire painting now i will tell you you'll keep doing this rule of thumb if this is a project that you think you will replicate I'll tell you, if you have a previously painted canvas, make sure you add in a lot of the paint up front because I'm just going to paint it on. Make sure you paint the edges as well till we completely cover this canvas. And you have to make sure that you actually cover your edges very well. And we're going to cover all the edges on this painting. Now this is what the painting looks like when it's completely painted. And this is just my first coat. Now this is the painting with my second coat. And I think I'm going to be able to actually start my painting because it's actually coated enough. This is my painted canvas, and I did go ahead and add three coats to it. And here are my supplies that I'll be using here. Now my first supply I'm using this is this clear glue paint. I purchased this from uh, Michaels, and it was $14.99. My crushed glass from uh, Michaels, then my metallic paint, my gloss white paint. Here are both of my ultrafine glitters. I'm using that white ultrafine and that silver, those large glitter flakes and that Mod Podge. My tape measure, because I am going to measure to give you an actual size of what this painting is, but we're getting ready to get this started. I'm going to measure the length and it is 53 and a half and I need to mark it dead at center point. So I'm adding my line and I'm showing you how I measured the uh, length of the canvas and I'm marking it middle ways because I want my markings for the middle of the frame. Now this is because of how I am going to actually style this canvas. Now here you see me making slight markings all the way across that canvas so I know was dead center of the canvas. And this canvas is actually going to stand vertically. What I'm doing, I'm taking that folk art metallic uh, silver paint along with that apple barrel white gloss paint and my two different paint brushes. And what I'm gonna do first is I'm going to line the middle point of the canvas with that metallic silver paint. Now that I have the paint in the center, I'm just adding my silver paint and I'm just adding it all up and down, squeezing lines. Now I'm going to add in the white and I'm just adding a little bit in because my white will be my breakthrough color, which will not require me to have as much white as the silver. And I'm going to go back and add some in because I needed actual paint to get my paintbrush moist so I can start with the streaking. And to everyone, um, I'm going to drop the link. I actually got this technique from 
uh, Wendy Devereaux. I'm going to drop her link in with her video that I saw her using this technique down in my description box. And you'll see me adding in more because uh, with this tremendously oversized painting, you will need more. And you can see my color uh, scheme coming together. Now, two, make sure you do paint the sides of your canvas so it can have the same color match. And I'm going to just do this till I finish off the sides. And one thing you can do if you see a spot where you have too much silver, too much white, you just go back in, add in a little bit more of your paint, and just keep brushing it out. And two, everyone, I brush my patterns on the side in an up and down motion. And my pattern on the canvas itself is vertical. Make sure you do your sides the same direction as the top of your painting. Now we're going to repeat the same uh, process that we did on the first half with layering in our paint. Look at the color and the shine as I hold it up to actually paint the sides. And I'm actually loving this design. And I'm just going to add in some more silver 
to break up all of the excess white in certain spots. And this is an easy fix if you're doing a painting like this. You can go back and add uh, more color or make it less color. Just this is a DIY that's easy and completely to be done of your choosing in the look that you like. Now we're just going to let this dry and we'll come back and get ready for phase two of this painting. Now we're getting ready to uh, pour on the clear glue and I'm just going to pour it all over. And normally I would have just did this first process here with my Mod Podge. And after doing the painting, I will tell you, if I do another one, I probably would still coat the whole entire painting with Mod Podge first and let it dry before I come back and add in that clear glue. As you can see, I switched out that foam brush for my regular paint brush so I can get the clear glue to go on. And if you do use this clear glue from um, Michaels, I will tell you, it acts exactly like Mod Podge. The only difference uh, is that because it has a little thicker uh, consistency, it just takes a little longer to dry than Mod Podge. And I would recommend as well that you can actually create some beautiful paintings with using only this clear glue method, just like I did for this painting here. And again, I was still pouring on glue. And you're going to make sure whatever glue you're using is enough to give you a coverage to completely cover the painting to put that gloss seal over your painting itself. Look how pretty she is with that shine. Now what I'm getting ready to do next is to begin to add my crushed glass and I'm just pouring in a good layer of this clear glue through the center where I want to pour in that crushed glass. Now that I have poured in the glue, I'm just taking my brush and making it the design that I want the crushed diamonds to have, but I'm also smearing out the glue so it can catch this centerpiece portion as well. And I'm gonna just do this until I get from looking at it the desired look that I think I want the design of the crushed glass to have. And I'm going back with that foam brush to give it more detail. Now I have mixed that silver and white glitter, so I am using my large glitter flakes and that Suling Ultra Fine and Silver and White. Now what I decided to do before I put in my crushed glass, I needed to add in my glitter first. So I'm adding in that mixed glitter 
and I'm going to just go through the center, and I'm shaking it where I have my glue and making sure that if you drop any piece in there or anything that's not with your color, make sure you get it out. But I'm adding that ultra fine along with some of those chunky uh, flakes of glitter, and I'm just pouring some in as well. And now I'm getting ready to add in my crushed glass. Now this crushed glass came from Michaels and it was $6.99 a bag. And this is the silver. And I'm actually just uh, layering it in. And I'll tell you, just kind of sprinkle, I'm sorry, sprinkle it in little by little. And you just do this until you get the desired look you like now once i did my first sprinkling i liked it but i felt like i needed more because you know i am extra so if you replicate this just add in a little at a time then if you need more just go back and add in more And I'm just going to keep adding in the crushed glass until I get the look that I do desire. And this piece is looking beautiful and I'm kind of lightly patting some of it down not real heavy because I can see the glue in there now this is what my canvas is looking like now that I have got her covered with the crushed glass and what I did to everyone was I layered in the crushed glass and I waited a little bit and went back and added in some more now I'm getting ready to let it sit and fully dry and cure now one thing if you're doing a project of this magnitude and look at the shine on that uh painting as well make sure you know the proper cure times because Mod Podge actually takes four weeks to completely cure so I use that as the time for this glue but we're going to get this dry so I can let you see the completed finished product now look at the detailing of the crushed glass on that painting she is gorgeous and because it is a warm day for me I'm going to actually place it out in the sun and let it heat cured because I used a different glue.
Now this is what she looks like. Uh, completely dried and cured and I have her sitting because I'm not trying to show you too much in the space for a giveaway for the upcoming home tour but look at this look at those diamonds and I'm telling you everyone this painting is massive but it is tremendously tremendously gorgeous I'm loving it and be on the lookout because you will be getting a couple of signature painting pieces coming your way and please check out what TT has to say